starting in Boston, Massachusetts, all the way across 36 countries around the world, the Millennium Fellowship class of 2022, with 207 campuses, brings together more than 3,000 fellows. Our fellows have taken up diverse topics for their projects and have been working hard to promote the UN SDGs in their communities. We want to take you on a remarkable journey of social impact. Our first stop, San Diego, California, where we meet the students from the Point Loma Nazarene University. Hi everyone, I'm Reina. I'm a sophomore in Point Loma's cohort of the Millennium Fellowship. For our United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, we chose number 10, which is reducing inequalities within and between countries. We chose this because our research is focused on the immigration process and how this affects both those in San Diego on the U.S. side of the border and in Tijuana on the Mexico side of the border. We chose the United Nations Academic Impact Goal of Intercultural Dialogue and the way that we're pursuing this is by using our research to educate people at our campus and around the San Diego area. Our goal is to increase dialogue about the border, educate people on the process of asylum seeking, and hopefully eliminate some of the harmful language used to talk when talking about the border and migrants. One of the cool things we've gotten to do with our project is go down to the border and on the other side of the border and conduct interviews with migrants and heads of the migrant homes. This has been a really cool part of our project because we've gotten to kind of see the, the human side of our research and kind of get on the ground and see how this is affecting real people in real time. So it's been a huge blessing to hear these stories and really see how the work we're doing is making a serious change. Our next stop is in Ekiti State, Nigeria, where we will meet students from Afe Babalola University. Our project literally translates to mean health care before pregnancy. So this is the care that we give to women and men of reproductive age in order to increase the chances of having children with good health outcomes. So this is falls under Sustainable Development Goals P, which means education for all. And our goal is to educate 300 indigenous of reproductive health ages in this society of preconceptional care so that they can have improved maternal outcomes and improved natural outcomes of children. One of the things we were able to learn through this millennial fellowship was our leadership skills. I personally learned that I'm an analyst. And another thing we're also able to apply was the SMART goals. My project was specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time conscious. And we have put a change in our community. advice for other fellows out there is um, don't give up on your goals and also a positive change in your environment can always start with you. And now we go to France where Sasha from Sciences Po at the campus of Loire introduces us to her Hi, project. Hi, I'm Sasha and I'm a fellow of Sciences Po Paris campus of Loire. My project for the Millennium Fellowship revolves around the SDG number 4, quality of education, and number 13, climate action. My project is called Murals of Tomorrow and aims to raise awareness on climate crisis through artistic action led especially in unprivileged neighborhoods. It is an opportunity to both improve access to culture and art on every level of society and to make ecology more accessible. 
It follows the principle of creative ecology to carry out important messages in a way that is still fun and engaging, because ecology doesn't need to be sad or demoralizing to be impactful. I used the leadership skills and knowledge gained during the Millennium Fellowship to better organize my project and to make it into several steps in order to have a broader impact. To start with, I took part into the citizen mobilization called Plan Phare, which gives the opportunity to the ordinary people to share their concerns, fear, anger about the climate crisis uh, through creative means in order to attract the attention of their leaders on social media on the occasion of COP27. So I led a free artistic workshop in a third place called La Le Poisson, which is an old fish market that was renovated to be a place of infinite marine ecology. So in coordination with the place, my work aimed to tackle important subjects revolving around the preservation of the ocean. The next steps focus more on bringing something sustainable to the public I want to have an impact on, as I learned during the training sessions. This is why the other workshops are led in partnerships with primary schools of priority education, for which I'm carrying out a student initiative called Art Bridge, with which I'm bringing a group of students from my campus to work with a primary class of newcomers children who cannot speak the language and with which we're trying to create a short film in stop motion about themselves in the city. With this project, my teaching rather has a long-term impact on the mental development of their children because it helps them gain self-confidence, develop their French skills, curiosity, creativity, their group spirit, and ultimately their sense of citizenship, hoping that it will lead them to be socially engaged in the future. My advice to the fellows would be to fully engage with the structures already in place in their city because it will help them building a solid foundation to their project and succeed in having a stronger and lasting impact on a broader public. And now we have arrived at our destination, the graduation ceremony, 